Hi, everybody. We're back to offer recommendations for books, movies, music, and more that you can check out from the Carmel Clay Public Library. I'm Catherine, and I'm joined today by Aggie. And this month, we have some suggestions to get you started on your summer reading journey. Aggie, why don't you share what you've been reading? Well, I'm a lifelong uh, kind of aviation buff, and I have always been fascinated, especially with the golden age of travel and um, even 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. And uh, so there have been several books about the world of flight attendants um, back in those days. And um, recently, about a year ago, there was a hotel that opened in the TWA terminal at JFK Airport, and it's all uh, retro 60s glamour, mod times. It's the TWA at its finest uh, hours, and uh, it's one of my goals to go there, although I know uh, traveling by plane is not so much fun anymore, and a lot of people have had a lot of challenges with that, but back in the day, it was considered very exciting and very cool, and it was an opportunity for a lot of young women to do something outside of, you know, school teacher, nurse, uh, and see the world as well. And a lot of people were attracted to that. Um, there were um, a lot of things uh, the books highlight is, uh, you know, the weight requirements and a lot of the sexism, but it's kind of like Mad Men meets the best adventure of your life. So I read Come Fly the World by Julia Cook. And it this one specifically is about Pan Am, which was a very glamorous airline. And it was one of the first major airlines uh, founded by Juan Trippi in 1935. So um, eventually Pan Am grew to be the most international and glamorous airline. And many of its flight attendants uh, got opportunities to travel the world. It starts off with a young woman who had actually gotten a degree in biology. And then she thought, but I don't want to just work in a lab or even just get married and then that's it. She she wanted to see the world. And at that time, Pan Am had ads saying, do you want to join the country club? And that meant going to every country, experiencing different cultures. And this was a great way for people to do it. Again, there were a lot of challenges, but then again, there were a lot of advantages too. And uh, it, it just is fascinating how things have changed so much and how, how very cool it was to be a Pan Am stewardess. And uh, they also did a lot of things. They eventually formed a union and kind of fought back about some of that early issues with sexism and in the workplace. And uh, the Pan Am uh, stewardesses also helped uh, a lot of kids get out of Vietnam when America left there in 1975. So that was called Operation Baby Lift. And so it wasn't uh, just a job where it was coffee, tea, and me and, and uh, you know, be a hosted or you know a glorified waitress in the air they did a lot of important things and paved the way for a lot of women to advance in the workplace so while being really cool and uh, wearing designer uniforms and getting to travel to a lot of places so I highly recommend this if you want to think back to when it was really fun to fly and uh, glamorous and you know, not herded like cats and uh, waiting to if you're even going to get on a fl plane. Um, it's, it's really cool to look back at that age and think, wow, this is how it could be. That's how it was, you know. And there, another one called Fly Girl is out there too. And it's about a woman who worked for TWA, which was, again, another big airline and another one about uh, American Airlines. So all those legacy carriers that aren't around so much anymore, but you know, how cool would that be? On a personal note, I really thought about doing that at one time, but unfortunately, I, I'm too short to be a flight attendant. So, <clears throat> so this is my way to look into that world. And if you like nonfiction and a lot of little history, and uh, if you love Mad Men, that kind of thing, this is a great book for the summer. Thank Catherine, you. where have you Thank been? You. Aggie, that's great. Did you watch the Pan Am show? I think it was canceled a few years ago. That yeah. was it was only on for one season, but it was really fun and and cool. There was a movie with Gwyneth Paltrow uh, as well. And I think maybe, you know, people are always looking to nostalgia 
when times are tough. So there might be more of that kind of thing coming out uh, since there seems to be a lot of the women that worked in the late seventies before deregulation are starting to write memoirs and, and things like that. So, you know, maybe there'll be a Hulu show, maybe there'll be something out in development because that would be uh, interesting to bring that back. I have a work of fiction that I just finished. I did the audiobook version of The Messy Lives of Book People by Phaedra Patrick. And Phaedra Patrick's name may sound familiar because she wrote The Curious Charms of Arthur Pepper and the Library of Lost and Found. Uh, but The Messy Lives of Book People is about Liv. And Liv is a single mom of two who's really struggling to provide for her kids. And she ends up getting a job as a maid just to make ends meet but she loves books. She's a voracious reader and she really uses books as a form of escape um, and daydreams about maybe becoming a writer herself someday. And she can't believe her luck when she lands a housekeeping job for a huge best-selling author named Essie Starling. And Essie is a mysterious and very domineering recluse. And of course, these two strike up a very unlikely friendship. Um, it's a fragile friendship. And then suddenly Essie dies. And Liv finds out that the author's last wish was to have Liv finish her final novel. Um, doing so requires her to step into Essie's shoes. And as she starts to work on this book, she uncovers some secrets from the past that reveal a surprising connection between the two women. So The Messy Lives of Book People by Phaedra Patrick is available in print and also as a digital audiobook with no holds from our Hoopla digital collection. You can check them out by visiting us on the web at carmelclaylibrary.org. Don't forget that our summer reading program for all ages, Oceans of Possibilities, runs now through July 31st, and you can find out more and sign up by visiting us at carmelclaylibrary.org. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next month.